So if you ask if you ask a really dumb question, it's going to be recorded. So careful. Are you recording our I don't know if we'll hear you or not. Then be quiet. Right. So I'm going to write the answer. The first one I'm going to say I can add together like terms. That will be 13x. Okay. So as you can see, it's a simplification question. If you got it wrong, then you're going to take this bit of paper, which is slightly different from the one that you've got, but never mind, and you're going to put question 1a there, and you can write something like like terms, okay? And we're going to write a revision sheet at the end of this. So as I go through it, I'm going to go through it quickly. Um, yeah, who's not got one of those sheets? Apart from Finn's table, who's... Okay, so I'm going to go through it quickly so we can get the, through the whole thing and you don't have to listen to me for too long. So, we multiply these, gives you 28x to the power of 3. The power adds. Right, like terms. 5 minus 3y is 2y. 6x minus 10x is negative 4x. If you've got it wrong, I've, put, I've probably put a dot or no mark. Okay, so if you got it right, there's going to be a letter next to it. What is it? What is it? Like an N or a U or an H? If there's a letter next to it, then it's right. Um, a U is an achieve mark, an R is a merit mark, and a T is an excellence mark. I'm sorry, in the exam, you piece of paper, did we write the question or what do we write this? Um, you can write whatever you like, really. I would write the question number and write a key word or words. So for question one, if you got that wrong, you're going to write like terms. Toby? Yeah. You're going to write like terms for that one because that's what you have to do to do it. How about the second one? Second one? Maybe, maybe you didn't add the powers together. Write that, okay? So write question 1a part 2, like powers, uh, add powers. 2 divided by, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Yes. Um, can you please keep the volume down? I'm pretty sure half the class is talking right now. Right, it's a lot easier to concentrate if people are a bit more quiet. So let's do that and we'll get through it quicker. We divide, so what do we do with the powers? Um, minus. 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 Okay. So I'm going to do this in two steps. I'm going to put the numbers in first. And then I'm going to work it out. So that's going to be 3 times 2, 6. Wait, but I have the 5 minus 3 is 2. If you got that wrong, maybe you want to write the word bed mess. That might be something you did wrong there. Right, expand and simplify where possible. This one's just expand. 6 times x is 6x. Six, 6 times negative 6 is negative 36. Expand 2n plus 6 minus 4n. A lot of you did this one wrong. Negative 4 times negative 1 plus 4. If you got negative 4 there, then it would have ruined your answer when you simplified. 6n plus 10. A lot of you got plus 2 because you didn't. You forgot that the number in front of 4 minus 1, or n minus 1, is negative 4. Positive 4, okay? Negative 2n. Negative 2n. Yeah, you're right, so you're right. Negative two n. Yeah, I didn't I didn't add very well. But I'm not sitting the test you are. Haha. <laughs> but what's a common factor to four A and twenty four? Four. Just four. So it's gonna be four times A and four times six. Right, this one here has to be expanded into two brackets because it's a quadratic, so it's gonna be B in both brackets. Two numbers that multiply to give negative 8 well, and add to give negative 2 are negative 4 and po positive 2. So if we got that wrong, we 
the normal session we write if we were like in graduates. Yep. What about the one above it? What would that one there? That would be um, uh, like terms would be a good thing to look up. That would be under. Which one would we write it? Well, you can write it under. Um, you can write it under factorizing or expanding if you got that bit wrong. But if you didn't gather the like terms together, I'd put it under simplifying. Okay. So if you did this bit wrong, put it under factorizing. If you did this bit wrong, put it under like terms. Put it under both. Um, repeat year 10. No, 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 just just write the same thing. Right. You can just leave it as expanding for that one. You can write um, like terms for that side. Okay. So the perimeter is 80. So you needed to write yourself an equation for this one. This was an excellence question. So you had to do at least an extra stage of working. So we're going to have... This side will be how long? Yep. Because x plus 1 and x minus 1 equals 2x. And that length plus that length is the same as that one. Okay. So because from here to here is 2x, what do we have to add to x plus 1? We have to add x minus 1. And that will become 2x. Right, so the same thing with the bottom. From there to there is x. From there to there is x plus 4. So the base must be 2x plus 4. Now you're going to add those together. Because the perimeter is all of these lengths added together. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8x. So that's like terms, if you didn't do that one right, under simplifying. It's going to be 4, 5, 9 minus 1 plus 8. So that's your perimeter. Your perimeter is also 80 centimeters. Okay, so if you got up to this bit, but then you made a mistake, you probably want to put this under solving equations because to solve the equation, 8x equals 72. X equals 9. Right? If you got that bit, I'm pretty sure you got an R mark, but if you didn't, but you haven't finished it because we have to find out the length of the base. So if x is 9, the base is 2x plus 4. 2 times 9 plus 4 equals 22 centimeters. Okay? So if you got, I think it was 3 U marks, you got an achieved mark for that one. I might be wrong about this, but. It depends which part you got wrong. So I It could be if you if you got it wrong from here to there, but if you got this bit right, then the next bit solving equation is yet. Two A bit, which was that? Oh yeah, we'll go over that all at the end, okay? We'll summarize it. Yeah. We'll cover all that at the end, okay? Right, question two. So this first lot's going to be mostly under solving equations. So what you want to do is 15x equals 15. I subtracted 7 from both sides. x equals 1. That, that is just an achieved question. Get P by itself equals negative 12. What are you laughing at? Tell the reporter what you're laughing at. Oh. 2N plus 6 equals 10. So I expanded that one first. Now I can get 2N by itself. N equals 2. I want to get all the A's by themselves. You don't, you don't. You can only get a merit of excellence in the ones that allow it. 
but you can get an achieve for a merit question if you did half of it or something like that. Okay, 4a minus 3 equals 5, 8 equals 4a, so all I did was move the negative 3 across, a equals 2. Um, who else got A equals 2? Did I mark you guys right? And I marked you wrong? Yeah. Oh yeah, if there's no working then no, you can't just have the answer. Yeah, no, it needs to have needs to have some working for that one. Yeah. Um, I, have, I have to look at it afterwards, okay, Saskia? Hmm? A means a merit mark. A is a summary at the end of it. H. H. No H. It's a U. It's a chief. There you go. You can ask Tom for now. Because, because, don't worry about it, okay? Alright. This one here. Easiest question in the paper. P equals 4 or negative 5. Oh, I actually got that. Look at this. Lots of people expanded it and I knew straight away you were doomed. What makes this equation equal to 0? Zero? 0 times anything. So you're just going to make each bracket equal to 0. So positive 4 makes this bracket 0. 0 times 9 is 0. It works. Negative 5 makes this bracket 0. 0 times negative 9 equals 0. So those two numbers. Just um, if you only, I think if you only got one of them, you got one mark. You got an achieved mark. If you got both, you got, I don't know, you might have needed two. Okay, this question here. 2p squared plus 4p minus 16 equals 0. Okay, now it's starting to look like a quadratic. Is there already? The question. Well, we want to solve it by making it equal to zero. That's what we do for a quadratic. It's the easiest way of doing it. Okay. I'm going to divide everything by two. Two p squared divided by two equals p squared. Well, I can see that everything's got a factor of two in it, and if I get p squared by itself, then I can do brackets like that. And I can solve it just like that, okay? Right, so 4p divided by 2 is 2p. Negative 8 equals 0 divided by 2 is 0. Right, I need two numbers that multiply to give negative 8 and add to give positive 2. 2 and 4 negative 4. Which one's going to be negative? You're right. 2 and 4. The 2's going to be negative because the sum is positive. If it was negative 4 and positive 2, it would be negative 2p there. What's your answer going to be? Is that the answer That's the factorized quadratic. All we have to do now is what we did here. So what is it? P is 2 or negative 4? Negative Yeah, that's what you write. P is P equals 2 or negative 4. What we did is we... Step one, we rearranged it to make it equal to zero. Step two, Finn, is we simplified it because we could. Step three, factorize it. Then the answers are just the opposite of the numbers in the brackets. Why do you make it equal to zero? Because, because it's, um, it's easy to solve it when it's that way. You can factorize it and the opposite numbers here will tell you when you've got it equal to zero only. Hey, if that was equal to 8, then the best thing to do would be expand it and do what we did here again. Okay, This way you can solve it. Okay, the area, now this one here was a, a question that was meant to be a lot harder than it was. It turns out that one being five meters, uh, 4 meters wider than it is tall, 4 plus 1 equals 5, which is the answer. That just happened to be a much easy lot so you could go straight to the answer and I didn't mark you down for it because it was just a bad question but it was it was too easy to be an, uh, an excellence question okay yeah it was too obvious right 
What, here's what we wanted you to do. We wanted you to decide that the width was equal to the height plus 4. Okay? Yeah, it's too obvious that it's 5, but here's what you needed to work out. This is what, this is what the working we intended was. The, height is e uh, the width is equal to the height plus 4. What's the area of a rectangle? It's equal to its width times its height. Right? It's equal to, what's its width? It's h plus 4 times its height. Its width is equal to h plus 4. Now we've got a is equal to h squared plus 4h. Area is equal to width times height. All I did was I swapped the width for the height plus 4. Because we know that the height plus 4 equals the width from the question. Right, so now I've got one variable, h. I don't have to work out h and w, just h. h squared plus 4h equals an area of 5. h squared plus 4h minus 5 equals 0. Just what we did with that one. Now I'm going to factorize it. h, two numbers that multiply to give negative 5 and add to give positive 4. Ethan. Put your phone away. Pay attention, thanks. For the camera, that was Ethan on his phone. Being naughty. Yeah, camera knows. It's going to be on YouTube. Thank you. Eli, was it the physio? Sorry? <laughs> I have a YouTube channel. It's going up. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it up. Yeah. It's, it's got two videos on it. And they're all maths. Yes, this is a bit of food. Um, uh, one. <laughs> Second account. Yeah. Oh, so um, this is, person's not in this class. None of you are called Ariana, are you? No, good. Making sure I hadn't missed anyone for the whole year. What was I doing? Plus five, okay, factorize it. So the height can be one meter, or it can be negative five meters, okay? Height equals one or negative five. Can you get a height of negative five? No. No. You can get a depth, yep. So it's only gonna be that one, okay? We don't want that, because no such thing. So if the height is one, the width is four meters longer, the width is gonna be five. Right? A lot of you just jumped to the answer and because it was so obvious. That's what I mean. Bad question. Okay. Uh, back to question one. Oh, look. We're done. Fantastic. So, what I'd like you to do now is can you go through the ones you got wrong or even the ones you think you just want to advise? And on this next sheet I'm going to give you, which looks like this, you can, you can write any sort of keynotes, anything you want, really. That will help you. So you might decide, I need to do something about simplifying like terms because I got that first question wrong. Okay, so I got I got this question here wrong. I forgot that I need to simplify like terms by adding only the ones that are alike. Or maybe you got that one wrong. So I might want to write an example by saying, um, gather like terms, e.g. 4x plus 2y plus 3x equals 7x plus 2y and that's as far as I can go, okay? Um, has anyone ever seen one of those... Oh, stop recording. Mr. What rules? <laughs>